The Scenario Manager allows you to create different groups of values or scenarios and switch between them. So instead of typing over if I want to increase my marketing, which hopefully increases my revenue, and then say, okay, that's one scenario, and then typing over those numbers because I have a different scenario, go ahead and use the Scenario Manager to create those groups of values, and it will store all of them, or as many as you want to create, and be able to switch between them in a single click. So for example, come up here, click on the Data tab, go to the Forecast group, click on the What If Analysis, and it's right there. Click on it, and go ahead and add your first scenario by clicking on Add. And the first scenario that I always recommend that you add is the original. So you've got your original base that you're going off of here, which are these cells here. And it says by changing what cells, let me go ahead and delete that, and click and drag and select the expenses, move that over, hold down the control key, so I can also select the revenues from Team North and South. And then add a comment down below if you'd like. This is the original scenario. And then go ahead and click OK. Then it says go ahead and enter in values for each of the changing cells or cells that you want to change, but since this is the original, we'll leave it as is and click OK. So there's the original snapshot of what we have here. Now let's go ahead and add our first changing scenario. Click Add. And say that we want to increase our marketing by $10,000. That's the scenario. By changing these cells, go ahead and click OK. And the marketing is in cell B8. So I come over here to B8 and say that I want to increase it by 10,000. Delete it, type in 60,000. And when I increase the marketing, I'm hopefully increasing the revenue. So this is going to be a guesstimation. And so we can say maybe for our revenue, we get 410,000 and for Team South, maybe just a $5,000 increase. So 305,000 and then click OK. Now we have our second scenario. Let's do another, click Add, and let's do a 20,000 marketing increase. Go ahead and click OK, and then change it. So 20,000 would bring it up to where well, there's the original value of 50,000. So if you do 70,000, then let's say we do something like 425,000 for North and 315,000 for the South. Now, I could click OK again, but if I want to go right to another scenario and save this one at the same time, click on Add, saves that, and it opens up a new window here for the next scenario. And we'll do a 30,000 marketing increase, and then click OK. Let's do 80,000, and then let's do some big numbers here. Ooh, let's do something crazy, 500,000 and 400,000. Click OK, and there we go. Now, with those scenarios available, all you have to do is go ahead and select one, and then come down at the bottom and click Show. When I click Show, our expenses will go up because we increased the marketing, which is part of the data range here that gives us the total expense, and also increase the total revenue. Go ahead and click on Show, and look at that. We went up to 440000 in total expenses, but our revenue went up to $900,000. Sweet. Then we can go back to the original. Click on Show. Cool. And then if you accidentally close out, no worries. Just come back up. What if analysis to Scenario Manager. It's still there for you to add. Delete if you'd like. Like maybe we don't want the 30,000. Go ahead and delete that. It's gone. And then if you want to make changes to any one of them, we can go ahead and say Edit the 10,000. Click on Edit. Opens it up if you want to change the name. Otherwise, go ahead and click OK to step into it. And then change your numbers. and. Oh, and by the way, you can also type in formulas here. So if I go ahead and delete 20,000 and type in equals 20 times 1,000, that's going to be 20,000. When I click OK, it says it can't have formulas, so it's going to convert it into values, which is fine. So for my Christmas marketing, it should be still 20,000. Click Okie dokie, click Show, and there you go. It hasn't changed because, remember, it converted the formula, which is going to calculate 20,000 anyways into the value, so there's the value. And if this window is bothering you and it's getting in the way of your spreadsheet, you can go ahead and close out and add the scenario to your quick access toolbar to be able to display or toggle between them by coming up here, right clicking anywhere on it, going down to customize quick access toolbar, change it from popular to all commands, and then scroll down to the S's to find scenario, not the manager, but just where it says scenario. Double click on it, to add it over to the right, click OK. 
click on the green orb, and there's your scenarios. Go to original, takes us back. Let's go to the 20,000, goes from 410 to 430,000 in total expenses. Sweet. Now we don't have that annoying window in the way. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.